So we're here in an ambulance. Shalom Richardson, one of the EMTs at North Shore Health, is here. And in fact, Kimber's driving the ambulance. Nice. <laughs> so we're going to cruise down Highway 61 just to share with you a little bit about what it's like to be in an ambulance and experience this. I got to say, it's really not that intimidating. It's large, it's big, it's like a hospital room on wheels. Uh, Shalom, you've been doing this for six years, and what's the general reaction of people when they're on this gurney here? This is a second home to me. Usually people see the outside events that are happening when they're passing by. They see everyone being loaded onto the gurney and whatnot, but once they're in here, it's usually, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride to the hospital because the back of the chassis here is a little bit bumpy, but... Like you were saying, it's not a very scary situation once you're in here. All we're going to do is check your vitals. We'll probably get you started on a line with an IV or something like that if you're in need of it. And just do some medications and it depends on what your situation is. But we have basically everything in the back here to counteract it. Uh, we don't diagnose in the back of the ambulance, but we do um, give them a general impression of what's going to happen once we get to the hospital, what sort of events and treatments that we're going to be providing for them. Uh, Otherwise, if we just came in, started putting our hands on them and not explaining ourselves, I mean, that's just a way that creates a high level of anxiety. What if the patient is unable to cope and they're in shock or severely injured? How do you deal with that? Like, do you still try to communicate with someone when it might not even seem like they're registering what you're saying? It definitely can be a challenge at times, but we just look for ways to... Um, Communicate with the patient. Like you said, sometimes they just completely shut down, and in that case and scenario, it would be probably easy for us to do so as well. However, we don't do that. Um, that's not professional on our part, and it's uh, definitely not beneficial for the patient. We are cruising down Highway 61 right now in an ambulance, and there's some brighter lights that just turned on now. This is a kind of a surreal experience and this is a reality that happens every day in, in Cook County that people are in an ambulance and that's basically the takeaway from the show if, if you want to expand on that at all. We never every day is a little bit different uh, like we touched on the show you just gotta roll with it. Yeah. All right well we're coming down to Cutface Creek and we're gonna turn around and head back to the radio station. Uh, thanks again to everybody at the hospital for making this possible. Some of the controls that we're actually working with, we have the actual lights and the sirens that everyone's pretty aware of. Thank you, Shalom, for taking us in the ambulance, for being a part of this community radio show and, and uh, this experience and sharing it with WTIP listeners. Thank, thanks so much, Shalom. Absolutely.